Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Pandemic Playgrounds and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a simple crane system for your vehicle. So this could be a large grid or a small grid or it doesn't even have to be a vehicle. You could just put it onto a platform like this. But yeah, I'm going to show you guys how to do something very simple like this. So let's begin. Now, obviously, the first thing we need to do is place down a landing gear so we could start building our small grid ship. And what I got over here is, whoops, let's see, I'll just drop it like this and let's um instead of this color let's change it over to white it's gonna look a little bit better that's up to you it doesn't matter so i'm gonna start off by creating the however long i want my vehicle to be so most likely i want like two wheels in the back and one in the front or two axles in the back and one in the front and i'm gonna have it overhang a little so I'm gonna put two here, one, two, three, one, two, then I'll put one, two, one, two, one, oops, one, two, and one, two. So that's pretty much the axle I want. And let's set up a cockpit for the driver. And I'm gonna use something like this. So it's up to you on what cockpit you want to use but I think I'm gonna use this one yeah why not and then I'll place a battery so battery let's put that over here we want the weight to be in front so we'll put the battery here let's see there you go wanted to rotate it up so it doesn't touch the ground as much let's places so we could actually see the battery itself all right looks pretty good I'm gonna start placing down the wheels so I'm gonna use three by three wheels we're gonna do left and right so right now this is the right so we're gonna do one two three and then left wheel we're gonna do up oh, this is right so left is this one one two three all right, looks pretty good so far. So what I'm gonna put here is a rotor. So I'm gonna count the blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I have eleven. Technically ten because I just left that extended out so I can cut it off. But one, two, three. This should probably be the middle, and we're gonna put a rotor here. I'm gonna take this, slap on a rotor and we should be able to get like one two three four four blocks out of it right so one one two three maybe three because i want to be able to rotate so one two three one two three here one two three here oh maybe i should have extended it out a little bit more yeah you know what let's move it back and then we'll do that again so we'll move it back by two bro two blocks where did my rotor go nine so we wanted two blocks here one one two three two three so it looks pretty even now and we'll even have a little bit storage over here on top of the batteries so it looks good now i'm going to fill up the platform i just left the edges so i could put a corner block there so it looks prettier doesn't have to be just a little bit of the design aspect so kind of looks better all right so with the new introduction of the hinges uh, I'm loving the hinges because you could do so much with it instead of the whole old rotor setups type thing okay so what we want to do right now is that I'm gonna use a small cockpit and I'm gonna place it over here so I'm gonna actually set up the hinge over here so we are gonna need one two three four here and then we're going to put a hinge so not the hinge part but the hinge itself and then we count three one two three and then the fourth one you put another hinge this is for the piston itself so we're going to put a piston here and then we're actually going to use a hinge part this way we could do attachment later so let me rotate this to where it's supposed to be now on top of this guy we're gonna do one two 
three, four, and then the hinge right over here. So we're gonna do seven, but you're gonna delete the end part. So we don't we don't need this part. There you go. Next up, we're gonna need to place down a cockpit. This way we could control everything. Now I'm gonna put it over here so I can actually still see everything once I rotate my camera. And what we're gonna do is for hinge, I think it's five. Let's see if it's hinge five. Yeah, it's hinge five. We're gonna drop this down. For you, it might be hinge one, hinge two, or something like that, but we're gonna drop this down. Whoop. And go to the hinge that is not the same white color, and we're gonna attach. Next thing you know, everything is all set up. Now we can go into each hinge and get rid of the torque because we're not gonna need any of that. So to test this out, we could go over to piston, and I'm gonna name this lift, capital lift piston with a capital T, P. And I'm going to test this out. So if I hit reverse, it should lift up the whole assembly. All right. Now if I get back out of here, this is perfect. Perfect. All right. Let me get the daytime back, guys. And now that we have our kind of hinge setup, this is where we could start adding pistons. So I'm just going to put one here, you as many as you want, and you just have to group it. But I'm just going to put one here for now. And we're going to put a programming block. All right, and I'm gonna leave a link down in the description below to the script that I am actually using. So the programming box could go anywhere. It could go in the back of this guy, it could go anywhere you want. Uh, I'm just gonna place it on the side. I don't need to really see it. And we are gonna go into a programming block. Oh, you know what, before this, let's rename some of this stuff. We're gonna call this extend, or we could call it boom, whatever you want. And then the rotor, or rotor two, we're gonna call this rotate. And it has to be one word, no spaces. And now we can go into program block, hit edit, and browse script. And the script is actually called cockpit, pistons, rotors, and hinge controller. Like I said, I'll leave a link down in the description for this. Copy to editor. And we still have to modify the settings. And if you remember earlier what we have the names for, uh, this is where we would set it up. So for mouse X and Y, so left and right of the mouse, we're going to do rotate. And for up and down, up and down would be WS. Yeah, WS, I would want to do this as lift piston. And A and D, usually it's left and right. I'm just going to do this as extend. And that's about it. Now, I do want to change this because it gets really aggressive with A and D. Or W, uh, no, not WS, but the A and D gets really aggressive. So I'm going to change this to 0 0.5. Hit OK. Recompile and run. All right. So once we have it, this is it. We could rotate our vehicle with left and right. And if I do W and S, it would lift up the arm. And then A and D should extend. There you go. The piston itself. Now it's still a little aggressive on the W and D. So what you can do is play around with the settings here. So the AND is still a little aggressive. So you might want to change this to 0 0.2. And oops, I forgot to recompile. So we go back, recompile, run. And still a little aggressive, but yeah. Oh, you know what? AND is slowing down. So it might be backwards. Yep, AND should be 0 0.5. And this should be negative. Five. There you go. Recompile. Run. Much better now. So we have the arm, the boom extending, and we have up and down. Now this setup actually gives it a lot of leverage. So let's see. At the end piece, what you want to do is probably put it on a rotor and uh, landing gear. So let's do rotor. And I'm just gonna place it on the side like this, okay? And I'm gonna put a block. And then a landing gear, just so we can attach this stuff. And in here, we're gonna go to that rotor, should be rotor, yeah, this one. And I'm just gonna put this as landing rotor. And we are gonna disable the torque on here and rotor displacement i'll probably push it out just a little bit more and for the landing gear where is that landing gear 
I don't know which one this is called. So what I'm going to have to do is actually remove this one. And put on the brakes. And I want to disable the auto, what do you call that thing? Landing gear. I want to disable the auto lock. Okay, maybe we should put some torque into that. For that landing gear, I'm going to actually put this on the control arm here. And we'll do switch lock. All right, now if I place down a block, here we will put another block. And we will try to lift it. All right. Up. Extend down a little. There you go. Nine. And there we have it. Maybe a little bit more torque, or if I have it a little bit more balanced. And I go ex pull the boom back. I could drive it off now. And if I needed to move it somewhere else, I can. So say let's move it over here. Extend the boom. Bring that down a little bit. Release the landing gear. There we have it, guys. It's super simple. You could program as many hinges as you want, as many booms as you want. It's, it's however you want to do it. You could put it on a vehicle like this or you know like i said on a platform anyway if you guys enjoyed this please hit the like button um, i'm going to be coming up with more content like this and don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching